12 years ago, Hassan Kuzuolu says he was content working on a cruise ship in the U.S. But then he had an idea to turn a Turkish resource into a major export. The Chileans start to have problems with the salmon production. And, and I know Chile is one of the biggest suppliers. And uh, I knew Japan and the United States, uh, some of the biggest buyers from those countries is uh, from Chile. They buy a lot. He opened his Black Sea salmon fish farm in his hometown, Findukla. His first year, he sold six tons of salmon for $6,000. But this year, sales of seven and a half thousand tons are set to bring in a net value of $65 million. And from a one-man operation, his payroll has grown to 450 employees. He has buyers in Russia, Japan, and Germany. And Hassan says demand is so high, he can't let the fish get bigger than three to four kilos. And there's a reason why they've become so popular. Mussels clean the water in the Choru River, and fish farmers say that's what gives the salmon denser, more flavorful meat. The quality of the water is also why they're careful to work with the environment. Farmers say they can't raise more than 6,000 tons of fish in this river without polluting it. Some of the salmon is served at Hassan's restaurant in place of the lamb or beef used in traditional Turkish dishes. We have salmon with cream, salmon spinach pastry, salmon kebabs, salmon pizza, and salmon wrap. Hassan hopes his salmon's popularity abroad will translate to more fans at home. When I was uh, working in the United States, I realized that as Turkish people, uh, we really like eating the smoked salmon. Like, if you tell me when I was living in Turkey, eat a raw salmon, you know, smoked salmon, uh, I, I will say straight no. But once you test it, you're starting to like and when people in Turkey start to hear about the taste of their Black Sea salmon, it's not likely to take long for them to bite. Sarah Balter, TRT World, Riza, Turkey.